Hi guys, we're going to make a triptych today. So you're going to um, find three uh, separate images. It could be you images from your Who Am I project. Maybe you've already shot um, uh, all of your um, object, location and self-portrait. Or it could just be like three different images that would work well together in a triptych. Um, you're going to crop them all to the same size in Photoshop and then you're going to lay them out on a blank canvas um, in a triptych. So um, I have got Photoshop open and I've chosen three images that I want to use. So I'm just going to open them up. It's just the same in Camera Raw, um, opening them up into Photoshop. And there we go. And that's the three images open in Photoshop. Now, the they're all on separate um, canvases. So what I want to do is I want to see them all together. So I am going to go up to Window. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to make sure they're all the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Image. I'm going to go to Image Size. And I'm going to look at the sizes of them and I want them all to be uniform. Now I know already that one of them isn't the same size. So I think I want to just make these like 22 inches um, square. So, But you might want like a different um, aspect ratio. So you could have um, 8 by 10. You could have 8 by 12. Um, it really um, is up to you how you want to crop them. But make sure that they're all uniform. Um, so I'm going to make that 22 inches. Um, I'll go on to my next one. Image uh, image size. Um, and I'll make this 22. And then this one here. I know this one's bigger. Um, image image size. And this was 23 and a half. So I'm going to make this 22. So that should be them all um, uniform now. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to see them all together um, on the one um, window. So I'm going to go to Arrange and I'm going to go to Tile 3 Up Vertical. And there I can see all of the images together. Now another thing that you can um, do is you can go to the Zoom tool to zoom in and out. So you just hit um, Z on your keyboard and that highlights the Zoom tool. And a really cool way to, um, instead of zooming in and out individually, you can come up here and then click Zoom All Windows and you'll see there's a magnifying glass with a plus and a minus in it. If you press Shift um, and click on the image, Shift and click, that zooms out. If I go up and change it to the plus and then I, pl I press Shift and click, uh, then I can zoom right in. Okay, so... It's quite a, a nice little way to um, see all your images together. Um, what I'm going to do next is I want to um, drag them all onto the one window and I'll show you how to do that. Now we need to use the move tool. So we're going to press V for move and that takes you onto the move tool. Then you're going to press shift and you're going to come over to the right hand side of this image and you're going to pull it over onto this one canvas. There we go. And the same on this side, you're going to press shift and then you're going to click on the um, left hand side of this canvas and then you'll drag it on. There we go. We can shut these two windows down. We don't need them anymore because we're on this um, window here. You can see that it's highlighted and in the layers palette, you can see all the layers have been dragged on. If I click on this uh, image here, there's just one, one, one image there. And on this one here, when I click on it, there's just one. So make sure you're not shutting down the window that's got the three images um, on it. So you can shut the single images because you don't need them anymore.
and then we're left with the one window that has got the three uh, layers on it. I'm going to go back to my zoom tool and I'm going to zoom um, out a little bit. You can also do that by doing command um, plus or minus. Um, and then I'm going to go back to, in fact, I'm going to zoom um, out a little bit more there. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to my uh, crop tool. I'm not. I'm going to go back to my move tool. So that would be command V to take you back to the move tool. And then what I want to do is I want to um, drag them back onto the other side again. Okay. So back to shift and click on the left hand side here. And you will see uh, these um, highlight, pur pink highlights um, crosshairs coming up. If you can't see them, you should go up to view and you should click snap and that will highlight those or it will start to um, show you where you are when you're moving images around. Okay, so shift, click and then drag and then shift, click. I'm on a little um, mouse pad here which is limiting me a little bit. So when you start to see the crosshair coming up here, release. Okay. And then I want you to go down to this image down the bottom here. And then I want you to go click, shift, and then move it to that side. Okay, so hopefully that will have worked. We can't see the images, they're invisible at the moment, so we need to go up to image and then click reveal all. And that's the three images there. Okay, now we could just leave it at this, but I want to put a little bit, bit of space between each image here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of space um, in between these images. And how we're going to do that is we're going to make sure that we're on the move tool. You can either click on it or you can press V. There's a shortcut there. You're going to press, um, you're going to go on to what image you want to on the layers palette that you want to put the space between. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this image here, um, which is on the right hand side. Make sure that is highlighted. You press the shift key and then you use the arrow. Um, I'm going to use the right arrow on my keyboard to make a bit of space. So I'm going to click it once. I'm going to click it twice. And then I'm going to move over to the image that's on the right here. And then I'm going to use the left hand key, press shift, click, click. Okay. Now you can leave more space in if you want to. It's your um, own um, whatever you want. Just make sure that you're doing it equal on each side. Okay. Once you've got it the way you want with the spaces in between it, uh, then what you can do is you can then, um, we can start to make the bigger canvas, okay? So this is like no calculations needed in how to do this um, triptych, which um, I really, really like, okay? So we need to go back on to the crop tool. So um, just press the C. And make sure up the top here that ratio is um, empty. There's nothing in there, okay? Then what you can do is you can start to drag out round about the canvas and get it to however you want it to look. Obviously make it try and make it look nice and even round about. I think I might make quite a bit of space round mine. And once you're happy with that, hit return. Okay. Now you might have done this and this looks like it's uh, got a um, little checkered box round about it. And how to get rid of them is you go up to Photoshop, you go to Preferences, you go to Transparent and Gamut, 
and then you make sure that this is um, clicked to none. So yours might look like that at the moment, or it might look a little bit uh, different. But what you want to do is you just want to make this set to the grid size, um, make it set to none. And then that will give you the white background there. Click OK. Um, I'm quite happy with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click, um, I'm not going to click on that at all. I'm just going to save it straight away. File, uh, save as, save it to somewhere on your computer, some folder, title it with your name, um, triptych, um, and then click JPEG. Don't know why it's not coming up um, on a JPEG for me. It's just a new Mac that I've got. Um, and then click Save. You'll have a little dialog box that comes up here. Make sure that it's a, a large JPEG. Click Save. OK. I'm saving it as a TIFF file, so it's going to be really, really big. I need to sort out my um, Photoshop settings. I only set up the Mac yesterday. But that, yeah, that's how you do the, the triptych, guys. Um, I'll give you a little demonstration in class and then you can um, sort of try it out yourself, okay?